Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. I'm so glad that you are here. It's always so much fun to head on a, to Dollar Tree to see what I can find to craft with. And this time I found these beautiful brass wreath rings that I absolutely love. They come three in a pack guys seriously this is such a good deal they're all different sizes and i did get two packs because today we're going to create four different things with them i'm going to start with a medium size ones and i'm just going to make a cut using my wire cutters it did not take much effort now i'm going to bring in all the bulbs that i have from dollar tree they're all red i'm also going to add some golden ones some smaller ones and i'm just going to start threading them through in no specific order just making sure that i'm alternating the size and the style and i'm going to do it all the way until i have no more bulbs I decided to add a little bit of hot glue at the end of each bulb. That way it's not going to go anywhere. Now you can fill the entire thing with bulbs. I think that would be beautiful. But in this case, I wanted to keep them just on the bottom. Now I'm going to bring in some, uh, this is duct tape from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to secure that part where I opened up. I did grab some greenery from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to keep adding some different tones. Also this glittery red one. I just think it will add a nice touch. And then some nautical rope to tie everything together. I'm going to start creating a little swag for the wreath form. I'm just going to start stacking them up one to each side. That way we're going to have a swag-like arrangement. I'm going to keep just holding it with my hand temporarily until I know what I have. And I kind of see if I need to add anything else. Once I had it where I wanted, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue very carefully not to burn myself. And then with the nautical rope, I'm just going to wrap it around until it's secure. I then fluffed it off just as much as I wanted, making sure the arrangement is where I want it. Of course, we got to get some cleaning done. <laughs> this thing was glittery and everywhere. All right, so then I'm going to take some foam from Dollar Tree. This is just a scrap piece. And I'm going to add some hot glue and then add that top portion of the ring right on it. Add more hot glue and then place the swag. This is going to attach it really nicely. I am also going to take this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's a beautiful plaid looking ribbon and it is wired and it comes a ton in it. Before we attach the ribbon, I am going to add some jute string. I did loop one end, thread it through the loop and I'm just going to secure it very tightly. This is going to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And then I'm going to wrap it around with the ribbon, making sure that I am covering the foam as well as the nautical rope and then I'm just going to tie it in a knot on top. I'm not going to take one of these pancetias from Dollar Tree. They come in a little pot. I'm going to remove the pot and I'm going to cut off the little stem that is remaining. Then I'm going to add a ton of hot glue and place it right in the center. This really finished it off. This is a stunning wreath form. I did not spend much to do it and it is gorgeous. I love the way this one turned out. For the next Dollar Tree Christmas craft, I am going to take one of these towels. You can find these in the automotive area at Dollar Tree. I already had used it for a previous project, but I'm gonna have what I have left just cut them in about one inch strips. Now I'm gonna take a smaller one and a medium sized one, and I am going to hot glue them together using some foam, and we are going to create a little snowman. So I'm just gonna place another piece of foam right on top. At first I thought I'd leave them like sticking out, and then it dawned on me, maybe I can just flip them to the side, and that way it won't be sticking out as much. I'm gonna take one, uh, a piece of jute string and just gonna tie it to secure it in place. And then I'm going to start wrapping it all around with the pieces of towel using hot glue, making sure that the entire middle section as well as the entire wreath form is covered. Once that had the entire thing covered, it's time to add some greenery. I'm going to add some of these picks that I do get on Amazon. I also have a tree that I had to break down. I'll show you here in a little bit. And I had some of these. So I'm just going to hot glue and stick them right onto that foam that I placed in the center. This is going to really secure it in place again because it has that hot glue. I'm going to place two on each side. And then I'm going to place some red berries from Dollar Tree and just to add some color. And I did add some more greenery from Dollar Tree to fill it up as much as I want to.
I contemplating using a red poncetia, but I think this white one is beautiful and it really complements the white from the snowman. All right, I'm going to take some of this. Uh, it's like a flannel style fabric from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to make a little hat for him. Now I am going to let that frayed edge just be towards the front and I'm making sure that the hat is a little tilted. I'm going to secure it in place with some hot glue, flip it over, and then secure the back again with some hot glue. This is going to create what it would look like, like a little hat for this no man. Then I'm just going to scrunch it up on top and tie it with some baker's twine. This is just what I had on hand, but you can use whatever ribbon or jute string even would work. Then I'm going to tilt it to the side just a little bit so it has a little bit of character. I did decide to add some pine cones to the arrangement. I felt like something was missing that really finished it off and I love love the way this one turned out it's actually a really good size wreath you can use it inside you can use it on a door i think it's beautiful for the next dollar tree christmas craft i'm going to take a larger ring and a piece of drop cloth this is a six by 17 inches i did make sure that the frayed parts were on top and the bottom for that more character look this is the piece before I ironed it and I added the design. I use sublimation because I've been in love with sublimation and it's easy. I just kind of flattened and ironed out the piece. I added the design, which I just cut the excess paper. You have to make sure you print it in a flipped mode. That way, when you place it on the design, it's going to look straight. So then we're just going to iron it using my heat press for 40 seconds. And then we have a beautiful design. I am going to make sure that I kind of tilt it just a little bit to the left. And then I'm going to secure it in the bag with hot glue. I'm going to do one side first. Once I have that attached, then I'm going to do the other one, making sure that I kind of pull and tighten that fabric so it doesn't slide down on me. We are going to secure it with hot glue, but just to make sure, just make sure it is nice and tight. Now, just to let you know, I am going to have this design in a drop cloth ready for you if you'd like it on my Etsy shop. It's going to be there temporarily only for a couple of weeks. So if you're interested in using it and having it, make sure you visit my Etsy shop, which is linked down below. All right, so I'm just going to hot glue just a little bit the four edges to secure those edges to the ring. This is the little tree I was mentioning. I lost a little base for it and I just thought I'm just going to break it apart and use the picks. Why not? <laughs> so I'm going to create another little swag again using some of these picks as well as some of these Dollar Tree ones. I'm also going to use some of those red berries that I really like that bright tone and again place them right in the center. I'm going to secure everything once again with hot glue. This time I'm going to use a piece of drop cloth because I, I just thought it would be appropriate and it just kind of brings everything together. I'm going to fluff it up just a little bit and then hot glue it to the ring form. I am going to also make a little slit, just a little cut on the fabric using my blade knife. And then I'm going to thread another piece of drop cloth through that little hole. This is just going to give me extra security. And I'm just going to tie it in the back with a knot and some hot glue. That way it's not going to go anywhere. Friends, I'd love for you to visit my Amazon store. It is also linked down below. I do have a lot of supplies and items that I use on all of my crafts there for you to, to look at. If you want to take a look, it is linked down below. All right, so now I am going to take this ribbon, which I think it's very complimentary to the entire wreath form. And I'm just going to place it towards the arrangement because the arrangements on the left side you want to make sure that it's not going to tilt on you so you want to place the ribbon kind of off center hot glue it in place and that way it's not going to go anywhere i did tie the top in a little knot just to kind of secure it i guess but i think this one is so much fun i love the way it turned out you can use any design and don't forget i have this one in my etsy shop for you to look at For the next Dollar Tree Christmas craft, I'm going to take a large one and a small one, and I'm going to join them together. This time, the small one's going to be inside of the large ring. I'm going to secure it with hot glue and some jute string. Again, this is just to tie them together, but we're going to add a lot more to it, but this is just to get us that starting point. I'm going to take this lighted, battery-operated star that you can find at Dollar Tree currently 
holy smokes for a dollar 25 this is actually a really good deal it does require three triple a batteries i got these at dollar tree and i'm just going to place them and make sure that it lights up of course you want to make sure you do that first it has a little on and off button right on the side then once i had everything in place i'm going to place it right in the center of that smaller ring form it fits perfect i'm gonna hot glue it to the top and all the little edges that way it's secure but i'm also going to do it with some jute string i'm just going to crisscross it and tie it very very securely that way that start is not going anywhere friends i also would love to connect with you on instagram and facebook i have both of those links down below in the description box check them out once you're there i would love for you to say hi all right, I did add some floral foam to each side of the star. This is going to give me a little bit of a platform to be able to hot glue the greenery and florals. Now, don't, this is not the only thing I'm using to secure it. I am going to tie everything in place, but hot glue is just going to give me that instant just kind of until it sets. I'm going to use some of this golden pick from Dollar Tree. I'm going to tear it apart and then I'm just going to start arranging them until it looks nice and pretty. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to turn on and off the star just to make sure that I'm not like adding too much heat with the glue <laughs> and I'm ruining the, you know, electrical part. All right. So once I had everything in place, I'm going to take this red and golden ribbon from Dollar Tree, which is beautiful. I'm going to wrap it all around, including through the inside of that top portion of the star. This is going to bring everything together, tighten it up, and it's not going to go anywhere, my friends. I did add more ribbon because I forgot to leave like little like ribbon hanging on the sides. I just thought it would look pretty. So I'm going to add one more, tie it in a knot, and then just kind of hot glue them in place so that they are hanging nice and pretty to each side. It's just going to add some nice color. Then I realized I completely forgot to add more ribbon to hang it. Now you can hang it with the little cord and the suction cup that the battery pack has. Uh, but I didn't know if it was going to hold strong enough. So I did add some more ribbon. I added a large and a smaller pine cone right to the center. And then this is when I realized, oh, I should have added that ribbon. <laughs> so I'm going to add it right through in between the pine cones. I'm like panicking, making sure that they're not going to like the glue is not going to harden on me. But it was fine. I'm going to just thread it to the top, tie it in a knot, and that's where we're going to hang it from. I think this one is stunning. I left it till the last, but I should have put it first. It's one of my favorites from today. I love it. It's so glam. I love that it lights up. If you want to give it as a gift, you want to sell it, this is a great one to do so. But I'd love to know what you think of this one and all of the wreath forms. I mean, think about it. We use two packs of these wreath forms, and we have four beautiful wreaths stunning let me know which one is your favorite i have another video for you to watch click on it get tons of inspiration for christmas i'll see you later and have a blessed day bye everything but you these are the good times with you baby this year 